there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful brick stitch earrings with delicate beads and bicons. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step. I'm also providing a pattern so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. <laughs> If you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry, I explain it in detail. Okay, so if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like I did bracelet and uh, I will link it here at the eye icon. So that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Uh, you could also share your works on my Facebook or Instagram page and I will be so happy to see your creations that you did following my tutorials. And down there in description you will find a short clip of this video which is only 2-3 minutes and you could decide by watching it whether you feel like making it or not or just enjoy the process of creation. This is on my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips. You could also subscribe there for new inspiration. Down there in description you will find besides the short clip full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and all my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 Delica beads. They are really cool beads, like small cylinders, absolutely even. And these are 8 millimeter bicons. I use two of them. These are earring findings. This is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick. This is size D nylon thread and here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers and now I'm going to take four feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters. This might be a little too long but I prefer to reinforce and everything be nice and tight so I'll take this length and I'll be back. Okay guys what else I'm using here for this work is this pattern that I'm gonna be following to make this brick stitch work. Okay now first I'm going to start with two silver beads and one silver at the top then a silver a black and a silver. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch don't worry I will show you step by step. Okay so first I'm going to take the second row which consists of two silver beads okay I'm sliding those down I will stick here my needle in my mat and now you see this is what I have two beads and I'm going to make a knot here by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure that it's all nice tight and secure okay now i have this and i want those small cylinders to stay next to each other that is why i will go one more time here one more time here through the second one and now what i do is that i add this one here at the top Okay, and as I'm here, I take one for the top, okay, this one, and go through the following, okay. I add it like this, okay, and for my next row I need a silver, a black and a silver, and I'm taking a silver and a black because I'm always adding two beads at first in each row okay and I'll flip my work in this direction because this is the bead I'm exiting out of and I prefer this to be from this side this is how it's easier for me to work okay and I'm adding a silver and a black going through this thread bridge that is between those two beads I hope you saw it okay then I go through this black one 
and I take one more silver okay then I'm going through this last through this thread bridge that I've been through in my previous step and then I go back through this silver okay okay and now guys I have this and now I prefer to flip so my thread is here this is not obligatory just this is the way I prefer to work okay and now I'm taking my pattern and I see that here I have a silver two blacks and a silver and I have it here at this corner as well so I take a silver and a black and because here I'm making my work wider so I'm increasing the rows I will take those beads and go through the first thread bridge there are two thread bridges and I'm going through the first one not through the second when I decrease later I will go through the second okay so now I have this and I will go through this black one that is closer to the center okay now I'm going to take one black bead because I in this row I have a silver two blacks and a silver only the first two I'm adding together then one by one so I have a silver and two blacks and I need to add one more silver here and with this this row is ready this row consists of four beads okay I'm increasing my work okay then what I need is a silver a black a silver a black and a silver a silver a black so I'm alternating I'm going through the first thread bridge the first of three okay then I go here through this black one like this then I need a silver because I need a silver in the center and then I will continue with a black and a silver okay this is what I have here and now I flip my work like this and what I need here next guys is a silver a black two silvers a black and a silver okay so I need a silver and a black go through the first thread bridge two silvers taken one by one then a black and the last silver okay now I like to flip my work and what I need next is a silver a black a silver a black a silver a black and a silver okay so I'm alternating and I'll do this faster okay now I have this and in my next step 
I have a silver, black, a silver, two blacks, silver, black, silver. Okay. Okay guys, now in my next row, what I have is a silver, a black, a silver, a black, a silver, a black, a silver, a black, and a silver. Okay guys, and if I'm showing too fast for you, you could pause this video, rewind it, or you could even slow it down if you want. Yes, there is such an option. Okay, so now guys, I'm up to this widest row here, and I will show it faster, and then I will show how I'm decreasing my work. It's a little bit different, almost the same, but a little bit different. And now I have a silver, a black, a silver, a black, two silvers, black, silver, black, silver okay and i'm doing this Okay, and now guys, it's time to make the decrease and I'm going to show you how. Here is how the decrease should work. A silver, a black, a silver, a black, a silver, a black, a silver, a black and a silver. And this is the same row like here. So now you could stop watching at this pattern and just mirror these rows. Okay, but uh, do it the way it's easier for you. So I'm taking a silver and a black. And this time there are two differences when I decrease. I'm not going through this first thread bridge, but I'm going through the second one. Okay, this is the first difference. And the second difference is that I go one more time around those beads like this to make them stay in a nice shape next to each other. Okay, I'm making them stay like this, then I will continue following the pattern absolutely the same way. Okay guys, that's it. You could see the decrease. 
okay and I'll show you one more row of decrease as you see here it is the first one and this is the second row of decrease and I need a silver a black a silver two blacks silver black and a silver okay and go through the second thread bridge as you may see okay go here through the second one then I go like this one more time through this one and one more time through this one okay now they stay perfectly next to each other and then again I continue a silver two blacks And a silver okay guys and now I'm sure if you're up to here you will be able to do it by yourself just pause this video on this pattern and uh, you will be able to make this part here by yourself and I will meet you in a while okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and I'm going through the second thread bridge again because it's a decretion here okay and I'm going through those beads as well now what I do next is that I take this bicon I go through it slide it down then I take one seed bead and I take my ear wire and I go through my ear wire like this slide it down then take one more seed bead go through this bicon in this direction and pull now I have this then I'm going again through these silver beads okay in this way I attached my bicons my bicon sorry and what I want to do next is put an edge here to this bicon and I'm going to take five delicate beads okay like these five and I go here through this delica and then I take five more okay five and I go here okay and what I need to do next is reinforce and you could reinforce it several times and then you go through some beads in this direction again I'm saying no need to make knots if you don't want to if you're worried to make just a small knot okay now I'm after after I'm satisfied with my reinforcement I will take here my cutters and I will cut here my thread as close as possible to my work and now guys my earring is ready.
Okay guys, and now my earrings with brick stitch, Delica beads and bicons are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have this bracelet and I'll link it here at the eye icon to see. And in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. That is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. If you want to support me you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a help this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorial please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and you could also check the short clip of this video down there in description. And in only 2-3 minutes you, you will get the idea of the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. Or just enjoy the process of creation, that is why you might like to subscribe also for my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips. Down there in description you will find besides the short clip full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.